Maybe try using Badline or Lunar Client with Optifine or Sodium and then test it. Try Sodium. Do a hundred dollar budget try C and test the sodium. 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 Yo, what's up everyone? I'm back and this is the $69 gaming PC and I'm gonna try it with modded Minecraft this time. The PC is running an i5-3470, a GTX 1050 and 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It's also still running a hard drive. Please help me. So basically I got a lot of comments from you guys asking me to run this with Sodium or Optifine and other performance mods, so I'm going to try that. And I really appreciate the comments I was receiving. I got a lot of positive comments and that makes me really happy as I'm not sure what I'm really doing with these videos, but here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as well. Okay, so I'm gonna run like a little benchmark on each version of Minecraft starting with vanilla on 1.20.6 and I'll go through Optifine and Sodium and so on. But let's start with this one here, 1.20.6 vanilla Minecraft and see what the benchmark for this will be. Okay, so let's have a look at the video settings I'll be running for vanilla Minecraft. And as you can see here, I put it at 16 chunks and that's because throughout this whole video, I'll be running 16 chunks on all the benchmarks. This part here is just on 5 times speed, but you can see here in vanilla Minecraft, loading in these chunks is really hard on the CPU, giving us 100% CPU utilization and sometimes dropping down to double digits or even single digit frame rates, which is not great. As you can see here, we're dropping down. We saw a low of 9 FPS when loading in these new chunks. But once landing here, I'm going to put it back to normal speed and let these chunks load in. And once the chunks load in, you can see that the frame rate is actually playable and the CPU utilization has come down a lot more. It does occasionally spike up and that's when rendering in new chunks, which is what causes our frame drops. Aside from the frame drops that we get with rendering in new chunks, we can see that the frame rate is sitting around the mid 100s and the range is usually between 100 to 200 and you could just see us exploring through like sections of the world that has most of the chunks rendered in. You can see here it did drop a bit and that's because we rendered in a couple new chunks but other than rendering in new chunks this is completely playable and you can always turn down your view distance. However, this is just vanilla Minecraft and there is much more performance to be had with downloading extra mods as it's very unoptimized at the moment. So next we're installing Optifine which allows for more FPS, adds more video setting options and gives you the opportunity to use shaders. I'm sure most of you guys already knew what Optifine was considering it's quite popular, but let me show you guys the video settings I'll be running, which we're still using 16 chunks and I've changed a few settings to boost FPS. I'm chucking it back onto 5 times speed now, but with Optifine here, we're still hitting 100% CPU utilization when rendering in new chunks, which hasn't fixed our issue, but the frame rates are higher. They are dropping into the double digits, but they're sitting around 50, where vanilla it dropped even down to 9 FPS. So I've landed down here, put it back onto normal speed, and let all the chunks around us load in, and we saw a peak of 370 there, and the lows I'm seeing are maybe like 130s, right? So our range is about 130 to 370 FPS here, and the average FPS is around like 200 to 20 and so on, give or take a bit more. But overall, you can see that the frame rate is an improvement over vanilla Minecraft, both when rendering in new chunks and just playing the game in general, where vanilla Minecraft was sitting around 150 FPS average and when rendering in new chunks it dropped down all the way into the single digits which I think is quite unplayable where Optifine seems to be a bit more playable with it still dropping when rendering in new chunks but only to mid double digits. Moving on I'm gonna install Fabric which is like Forge but essentially it allows you to run mods on your Minecraft. After that, I'm going to install Sodium, which is a mod like Optifine, but it improves your FPS and gives you a bunch more settings to play with, right? So installing Sodium, there's a couple extra mods, which is Sodium Extra and Reese's Sodium Options, which essentially lets you to have more options inside of Sodium. Now when launching, I got this graphics driver issue here, and some guy on Reddit said to put this code in, so I put it in, and it fixed it. So if you guys ever see that, try that. Here's a quick run through of the video settings we'll be using on Sodium here. Moving back into 5 times speed here, we can see Sodium renders the chunks much faster at a higher frame rate as well, which is a huge improvement over vanilla Minecraft and an improvement over Optifine as well. And we can see as we fly across to here, the frame drops aren't as low, like they rarely go into the double digits. 
So back on normal speed after landing down here, we can see that our frame rate averages is so much higher than before, and we're even hitting 300 more frequently. Yeah, I am looking at the sky here, and looking at the sky, we do get more FPS just because there's not much there to look at. As we jump into the water here, we can see that the frame rate peaks at 462 FPS, which is much higher than we had seen while swimming on vanilla or Optifine. Our frame rate averages is about mid 200s when doing normal things looking at visually intensive scenes but it does jump up to average around 300 when looking at less visually intensive scenes the range is about 150 to 400 fps which is better than optifine or vanilla in general we get better fps when loading in new chunks and our average fps is higher so sodium's the better out of the three so here's the final thing we're going to do for performance and it's installing a whole bunch of performance mods here and these are all the performance mods which I'll link down below so you guys can go download them but here are the descriptions for them if you guys want to read them you can pause the video. But we're going to install all these performance mods and see what the best performance we can possibly get on this are. The settings are about the same but I'll just run through them again just so you guys can see and let's just get started with this and see how we do. Alright, so this is the final mod pack with all the performance mods in it, and we're going to see the most FPS we can actually get out of this computer. So, loading around here, all these chunks here, we're averaging like 200 to 300 FPS while loading in new chunks, which is like insane compared to vanilla, where we were getting single digits. Uh, average FPS back down here, about like 300s to 400s I guess, does drop down into the 200s depending on what we're looking at. And I think at some point in this video, it became less of a can we make this game playable and more of a how much FPS can we get because this is completely playable. Like honestly, you don't need more FPS. Yeah, so overall, this performance mod pack pretty much packs everything into one and gives you the most FPS out of this PC. The PC averages about mid 300s and the range is about high 200s to low 400s. We're peaking in the water here like at 470 FPS and so on, but the FPS is amazing now. We have no issues with loading in new chunks and our frame rates overall in general are much higher. I did forget to mention about the CPU utilization as we went along, but essentially on vanilla it was just always 100% when loading in new chunks, Optifine still 100%, Sodium it starts to come down and with this mod pack it's not even sitting at 100% all the time anymore, which is amazing. Overall between all the four stuff we've done, vanilla it's kind of meh and kind of playable, uh, but not really when loading in new chunks, Optifine kind of helps it, Sodium makes it playable and this just makes it amazing, this mod pack here. Just a little bonus here, since we got a GTX 1050, which is a pretty powerful card for its price that we got it for, we're going to run shaders here on the settings I've just shown, which is complementary shaders. We're going to run on 16 chunks as well, with all the performance mods, and just see what we can do with this PC, just push it to its limits. We can actually see the frame rates we're getting here is about 80 FPS average, which is quite good. And even when loading in new chunks and running around, we're only dropping to about 50. And this is a quite playable experience. If you're just trying to go for a 60 FPS experience, if you don't mind a few stutters every now and then, this is quite playable for a 69 US dollar gaming PC. I'm now going to turn off shaders, use the performance mods pack that I've made, and we're going to try it now on a server and see if this PC can run on a server. Now with the mod packs, it's really playable, but it might not be playable in vanilla Minecraft, so I would really recommend getting these client-sided performance mod packs to boost performance, because you may actually really need these performance increase with the mods packs. But running on the server, it's completely playable. Yeah, the FPS is a bit lower than we were on the survival world, but we're still averaging around 250, Give it maybe a bit lower than 250, but it's still playable on a server. Alright, just to wrap things up, vanilla Minecraft is kind of not playable when you're rendering in new chunks. Same as Optifine. But once you switch it up to sodium, that's where it starts making it playable. And the mod packs really gives you good FPS. You wouldn't even know it's a 69 US dollar PC. 
I'm pretty impressed what this PC can do for its price, especially on Minecraft, which is quite laggy, even on good PCs, because it's so unoptimized. Anyway, that about wraps up everything for today. I highly recommend Sodium or the mod pack that I've made. I'll link down everything in the description. If you guys want to see anything else with this PC, like another video on a different game or other things to do with Minecraft or so on, please let me know down in the comments and maybe I can make a video on that. But anyway, that's all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters!